you go to the main service, yep. main service they are singing all these brilliant, the latest songs, right. you know. When you go to Sunday school, it yep. is I'm happy today, Father so, Abraham. Yes. Yeah, the, the same song. grew up singing. Not even you, right. even your mother. Grew up singing the they same song. They sang the same song. And children are still singing the 2021, same song. 2021. Children are still singing, you know. Nothing is changing in there. And then interestingly, right. when these children are out there, right. they can sing for you any of the secular songs back to back. Very, very warm welcome to the gold mine show i'm extremely excited about today's show my friend you know many times we talk about the gold mine inside of us but sometimes we forget the fact that the greatest place to start nurturing them up is right at the infant sea my friend and i'm so glad that then my guest today deals with them every single day i don't know someone more passionate about children than my guest today and i'm extremely extremely excited we're coming to you from like keep your cottages and i want to invite you to like all our pages follow us on youtube on facebook and on instagram on the gold mine show man i don't want to take any more time i want to bring to you my friend the guest for today none other than uncle paul <laughs> <laughs> uncle paul man <laughs> hey, yes sir have you ever thought of teaching Sunday school? <laughs> well, my friend, by the way, I did it a bit when I was in high school. Eh? Just a bit. No, that energy, eh? yes. that is the energy that we need in Sunday school, my friend. Maybe if I stick around you long enough, I might just get to do this. I'm telling you, you church a kids like that. Eh? <laughs> yes. The stories of the Bible will just be... They'll just flow. They'll just flow. They'll just flow. Yeah. Man. No, 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 man. I, I am passionate about you. I tried to do uh, back then a bit. Okay. And uh, I cannot salute you enough Thank for you. the work you do on our children, man. The passion you have for them is just something else. Man. Thank you. And, and uh, you know, there's, a, there's an interesting thing about this, Jawe. Eh? Right. That, um, you know, many people know Uncle Paul because, uh, well, I tend to be very passionate like you. Right. Okay, not like you. <laughs> <laughs> you are at another level. Eh? Right. But what happens is, eh, yes. the, the passionate guys, the talkative guys, right. They tend to be to be seen more right. than uh, the people in the background. Right. But children ministry, any successful child minister right. has got a whole battery of people Correct. behind him right. or her. Right. And those are the people who actually do the main work. You the know, uncelebrated the uncelebrated heroes. Sunday school right. uh, makes me believe this for a fact. Eh? Right. That when we get to heaven, yes, the guys who will be uh, pale, what do you call it? Uh, high table. The high table, yes. The high table guys, right. eh? Will not be the guys that we normally celebrate. Because <laughs> lots of work eh, yes. is done by people right. who nobody ever knows about. Right. And then our us guys who do our theatrics with our April, right. with our collars, right. you know, right. they come out and. But nonetheless, eh? Children yeah. is a place to be, Absolutely. my friend. But while I, hear, while I hear that modesty, the uh, fact of the matter is that then it takes a leader. Just okay. to get it going. Thank you. And most likely then it is a leader we get to see a lot. Thank you. Who inspires a lot of action and yeah. who inspires a lot of activity that we may not see. Yes. But then there's also the place of the leader which is what you have become, my friend. Now, Mesoma. Kidama. Good to be a fizz with you, man. But so good to have you on the show. Man. Thank you. Thank so you. good to have you on the show. I'm and I'm very happy to be in this show. Thank you. Because, you know, I think... Um, yeah, like uh, like Jeff said, and even other people. Right. I think uh, we know we've succeeded when we start making it to the Goldman Show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so it's also it's it's Thank an you. honor Thank and a privilege you. to Thank be here. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. I've always wanted to know, man. Have you always been passionate about children? Um, I think I have. Right. To, to this extent, eh? Yep. That um. I mean, deep down, yes. I've always thought that life is very simple. Right. I've always felt like uh, people complicate life mm. with a lot of things. Right. And if, 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 things, if, if you were to see things the way children see them, right. it would actually be, life would actually be very simple. Right. 
One of my best stories when I was growing up yep. was this king who decided, was this tailor mm -hmm. who decided to tell the king that he was going to make him yep. the most expensive garment that he had ever worn. Right. And um, the guy worked for like, uh, I don't know how long, was it six months? Right. And then he finally came to the king and he mm -hmm. said, you know, this garment is so expensive. Right. The thread I've used is so expensive. Right. It can't be seen by physical eyes. Right. And so he put on the king yep. uh, a material right. or a gown right. made with a material that was so expensive that right. it could not be seen. Right. But you know, the king was naked. Right. So as he was walking in the streets right. and everybody was shouting and clapping and saying, man, this is the most expensive gown, a gown that they could not see. Right. And he took a small kid to shout, yeah? I can never tell you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is heavy. this guy is naked. He's naked. <laughs> right. There is so much nakedness, right. <laughs> and we just need to say, huh? where are watch. Yeah. yeah, if you to look at life from the point of a child, right. there is so much nonsense that is going on right. that it would take a child to actually say, "But that is wrong." Yep. What you're doing is. So there's a lot and of they say it genuinely. They say it genuinely. They don't sugarcoat it. They don't, they sugar just, it. They don't think they about it. Absolutely. They're just saying he's naked. Now yes. the king is naked. Yes. If he's not naked, yes. then uh, he the child is willing to be corrected. Absolutely. Now you can tell them this is not nakedness. Right. This is ABC. This is expensive thing. <laughs> it is too expensive, it looks but naked. But it's a the kid shouted the king is naked. Right. That actually everybody discovered that, uh, discovered it, eh? yeah, in quotes, eh? yeah. that actually this dude is, is naked. Maybe the kids spoke for them. Exactly. <laughs> so, but not, none of them was bold enough to say. So the question was, yeah. have I always been as passionate? Yes, I've been passionate. Correct. Because uh, the message of the gospel right. must be received from the lens of a kid. Right. And that's what Jesus Christ says. Absolutely. Unless you receive this message like the way a child would do it, mm. then you get it wrong. Mm. It's not as complicated as you want it to be. Right. Uh, but um, my story about Sunday school right. has to do with my dad is a clergy. Right. He's now retired, right. though not tired. A great man. A great friend of mine, a, for the record. Yes. <laughs> but I know he's your friend more than he's. <laughs> that is than, than you're my friend. A, absolutely. So, dad, yes. one of the biggest fights that we used to have in the house when we were growing up, right is a uh, daddy why don't you come to sunday school right because dad was a vicar right he 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 rose through the ranks he, he was an canon. archdeacon right. he was in a canon right and so he'd say dad why don't you come to teach at sunday school absolutely and uh, you see dad is a is a brilliant preacher right when he preaches yes i mean uh, there's lots of humor there's lots of Man, people resonating. I enjoyed listening to him yeah, all the time. Many people do. Absolutely. So for Absolutely. us, yep. we would be meeting in Sunday school, right. which would be in a place next to the main, the main, the main church. Right. And then now we would hear people burst out laughing. Right. Sometimes people would clap. Right. So now the question is... Eh, He's working that of a congregation Actually, yes. well, our question was, eh, yeah. Daddy, why don't you come to make us laugh in Sunday school? <laughs> the way you make it Yeah, because, yeah, because in Sunday school you really, you really laugh, Bana. Yeah, yeah. 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 So why don't you come and make us... We want to hear the passion and the energy. Absolutely. So, uh, well, he never did come. Right. But then I started growing up desiring mm. to be the guy who will make children laugh in church. The way your dad did. The way dad makes adults laugh. Right. Eh? I also want to make children laugh, laugh. in church. Absolutely. I want them to clap. I want them to, to make them feel like when you come to church, eh? you this enjoy. is the place. Absolutely. Yeah. Then the other thing because is... Because they eh? must be laughing out of enjoying what's going I, on. They're connected with what's going on. They didn't enjoy my Sunday school. Right. Yeah. Sunday right. school was, uh, you know, it was hard. Right. Yeah, because sometimes uh, it's not fun. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, you're looking forward to outgrow Sunday school right. to go and laugh in the main service. Because in that main service, they laugh. Because in the main they service, they have a great time in there. And then, yep. there's something about uh, the main church. Eh? Yep. The main church tend to, hands, to have everything. Right. Uh, back in the day, yep. uh, I grew up in the Anglican church. Right. So, when a church had sophisticated instruments, right. it had a it had a piano. Right. Okay. So those days there were no keyboards and everything. Right. So there was a piano. The main piano. The thing. main piano. Right. So uh, main service mm -hmm. had a piano. Right. Sunday school had nothing. Yes. Then when uh, when now church started getting uh, you know to the next level, right. they started bringing on board uh, instruments, you know, right. drum sets, drums, yes. keyboard, guitars, guitars right. audiovisuals. You right. know, you could even have um, screens. Eh? Yes. 
But somehow those things never come to Sunday school. So Sunday school was a place of being deprived. So Sunday school is a place you want to graduate from. <laughs> And just go and, and now enjoy. Go, go now to the go now to Canaan. You know, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what. Right. So for me, yes, I grew up knowing. Yep. I want to bring. I want to make Sunday school right. the place. Yes. Yes. Where we want to be. I want. I want to have wonderful worship. Right. I want to have. A, a, all the visual, the the, the audio visual aids, right. a present in right. you know. Right. I, I want to have as many children yes. come to church right. and then they have such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. time. Absolutely. So it becomes a place they look forward to coming to. Bana. And then in church, yes. we offer the real deal. Right. Because of that stuff that used to, and even to date, yes. Yes, it really makes me. Yani. Yep. Jesus Christ, the Jesus that I preach, right. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Right. Everyone is looking for the way, right. way to success, right. way to, you know. Good things. Yeah. Right. He is the way, the truth. Everyone right. is looking for truth. Right. He is the life. Right. Guys are looking for life. Right. Then there is a Kijama who has identified, right. life is in beer, right. is in alcohol. It is a symbol of life for them. So now he drinks. Right. Even when it is killing him, yep, he has drinks. identified it right. as life. Right. We have the real deal. Right. And somehow, we bore children to death in church. With the real deal. It is criminal. My goodness. It is criminal. Whoa. What? What is corruption of the house? What? <laughs> what corruption is corruption? Right. How can you bring people, children, right. presenting them to the Savior, right. and you bore them? How can he fail to be attractive? I mean, wherever Jesus went, he attracted masses. Right. People came to him. Children right. ran to him. Right. You know? So, yes. So, this thing started a long time ago. Right. And That's even my fun. desire today, right. bring children to church. Right. Because in church, they will find Jesus. Right. And Jesus will show them the way. He will teach them the truth. And he will offer them life. You, know, you make such a profound statement. Because it is so true. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. But has been presented to these children in a fashion that then does not look any attractive at all. Many children have got no problem with Jesus. Right. What they have a problem with is the way he's being presented. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, Jesus is, uh, seems to be out of, he's, he's not in touch <laughs> with reality. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, can 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 Jesus talk to me via put something you know put put a game? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, nowadays we are we are we are digital kids. Eh? Right. So is there anything digital around that can Jesus? Speak to me about that Jesus. can speak to me. Right. Yeah. Um, you go to the main service. Yep. Main service, they are singing all these brilliant, the latest songs. Right. You know. When you go to Sunday school, it yep. is I'm happy today, Father so, Abraham. Yes. Yeah. The now same song. Grew up singing. Not even you. Right. Even your mother. Grew up singing the they same songs. They sang the same songs. And children are still singing the 2021, same songs. 2021. Children are still singing. You know. Nothing is changing in there. And then interestingly, right. when these children are out there, right. they can sing for you any of the secular songs back to back. Word for word. Word for word. Absolutely. But when they come to Sunday school, in fact, they just hear the beat. They can tell you what song it is. But when they come to Sunday school. 1992. Oh, no. Yeah. So there is something. So they, they so will reject we have the service. They are. Ah, no. The church in Kenya, the, and this is not just the church, anyone, anyone who is a believer of Jesus, mm. you have got a responsibility mm. of presenting Jesus to children. Mm. And let it be done in a manner that will attract them. Mm. But taking care mm. not to just make it too attractive because sometimes mm. a lot of effort has been made mm. to, to, to entertain children mm. and then the entertainment comes and shrouds the truth of the gospel. Right. Now, Jesus does not need entertainment. Right. No. Right. But just present them in a way that, present him in a way that any child can be able to hear you mm can be able to understand where it is. Mm. And when he or she is asking a question, mm. let their questions be answered in a real way. Because you see, mm. we started by saying that children are real. Mm. If the king is naked, mm. they will say, Bana, when you're, you're naked. Mm. Yeah. 
But now, if you slap the child because he has said or she has said mm. the king is naked, mm. so the next time he sees or she sees somebody who is naked, say, no. you say, no, no, that guy is okay. Yeah. yeah. He's looking very smart. Aye. In fact, even them, they'll go and they will, <laughs> most likely, the next time they show up, they'll show up naked. <laughs> they want to dress like they want to dress. Yeah, like the one the king is ready. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. And, 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 and you see, we have also then brought up children. And, and the last point you make is important. Because then we have raised them in a way that sometimes also suppresses them. And uh, we, we are unsure then how to nurture and cultivate that point of balance also. That you say that is uh, the distinction between the entertainment part plus also presenting the gospel. Yes. What it is. And the question becomes then to the many Sunday school teachers. And I also say parents also, because yes. then I think uh, Sunday school complements what we are supposed to be yes. doing at home. Yes. How do we then draw that line of balance so that then we present the right thing? Yes. Not necessarily over, over, over entertainment uh, in it. The, one of the quotes that I had when I again when I was a child mm. is that you cannot offer that which you do not have. Absolutely. You cannot take people where you've never been. Right. Uh, Christianity or the message of the gospel is very simple, mm. very, very simple. Mm. Have a relationship with the Lord. Right. Uh, out of the abundance of that relationship, right. your mouth will speak. Right. Your mind will engage. Right. You will be able to instruct. Right. So, but when your head is full of facts and figures, right. and then you want to dispense those facts and figures, the same way the facts and figures are taught within a formal uh, classroom setup. Right. Uh, the children will hear, yep. but they will not be able to connect. Mm. Jesus is not just facts and figures. Right. He's life banner. Right. As in minus Jesus, yep. there's nothing. Right. And so, what? Uh, how? How? If I'm going to present, if I'm going to present Jesus to my children, right. what then I must do is be in Him. Right. So it's the way I talk to them. Right. It's the way I relate to them. Right. So um, I don't know what it is that I was answering, but how do we connect how, that? How you, yes, the starting point yeah. is whether you're the Sunday school teacher, yep. whether you're the parent, right. whoever it is that you are, have a relationship with Christ. Right. Because out of that, you will genuinely love children. Mm. You will genuinely love people. Mm. So this will not just become... Um, teaching children or speaking down at them mm. because you are older mm. and now you can tell them Jesus loves you, say Jesus loves you mm. and it will now become, they will actually see mm. and they will know that Jesus loves them. Absolutely. You know, I have a, I have a friend, yep. that friend of mine, she, she, loves, she loves Jesus, yep. Kabisa. With all her heart. With all her heart. Right. But I'm telling you, I would never want to be like her. Why? You see that dis that 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 disconnect. And you love Jesus so much, yep. but I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> explain, man. Explain, Pastor Bob. She knows. I mean, when she speaks, eh? Yep. She 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 says all the right things. Right. She knows all the scriptures. Right. But her life. You know, depicts bitterness, anger, malice, you know, all those things. So it does not correlate. So she, she loves Jesus so much right. until she has become something else yep. that I would never want to be. Yep. But you know this, I mean, your love for Jesus. Yep. Jesus Christ says, how do you say that you love God yep. whom you have never seen yep. and you cannot love your neighbor right. whom who is, living who is living next, you are living next to? Yeah. So... That's the reality, that if we are going to instruct children, yep. uh, have a relationship with the Lord. Yep. That's simple. It must the qualification yes. is actually your genuine love for the Lord. Right. And then as you love the Lord, right. He will lead you to love His children. Right. And then you become the bridge between the Savior, the children, and then they can walk on you right. to get to the Savior. Right. Yes. Right. And this yeah. is what you've done for years now. Yes, though... I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm a failure in the sense that, <laughs> um, maybe put it this way, yeah. this is what I pursued to do <laughs> for the last many years. I started teaching Sunday school when I was in Form 2. Whoa. That was about 27 years ago. In Form 2? In Form 2. Wow. So it's something that I have done. Right. 
or I have attempted to do, right. I have attempted to create a platform or yep. to become a bridge that children can cross over right. to meet the Lord Jesus Christ, right. who is my personal savior. Right. Yes, right. yes, right. yes. And, and tell us, how has that journey been for you for this many years? 27 is not a short space of time. Um, the journey has been good, tough, difficult, right. interesting. <laughs> Everything, you it's know, a yeah? of everything. it's like asking me how has your life been up to this point? Right. It's been a mixture of everything. Right. So of course when I started off, mm -hmm. but they, you know, people call me Uncle Paul. Yes. So how how I uh, it was I got my title in Sunday school. Right. But it's because um, my my dad had a brother. Right. He's now deceased. Right. Uh, called Uncle Stan. Right. So Uncle Stan was very, he was tall and very strong. Right. So when we were growing up, Uncle Stan would come and then we would go running, right. run, running, and then he would hold us and throw us up in the air and then catch us. Yes. So for me, I used Those to think, eh? Uncle moments. Eh, yeah. I used to think, eh? Yeah. Then a guy can be so strong right. to actually hold you. Because you see, when you're a kid, you think you're very heavy. Yeah. And of course, you can't even carry your, you can't carry your own brother. Right. But you see your uncle comes, yes. holds your brother, right. throws him up, yep. and then catches him up. Right. And so I thought to myself, yep. when I grow up, yep. I want to be an uncle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an uncle. Right. I want to be the guy who catches kids, eh? yes. throws them up, catches them, right. and they are safe in the hands of uncle, yes. Uncle Paul. Right. So when I went to Sunday school, right. That was the only place I could be able to exercise right. my, 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 my calling to be an uncle. Right. You see, if you tell kids, eh, children, my name is Uncle Paul. My name is Uncle, Uncle Paul. Paul. Yeah. Right. If I come to church and I say my name is Uncle Paul, yeah, adults will look at me and those ones of like, you wish. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I actually had a oh, desire. Day, I also had the president calling you Uncle Paul. Watch, uh, <laughs> you see, after, yes. after the kids had confirmed it, eh, that you are Uncle Paul. Sasa, even the prezo, even the prezo. Ah, he has to tell the line, my friend. <laughs> And, and I hope he's coming for the service. Man. He has to come. He has to come yeah. for the service. I know. I, I, mostly, I think he watches this show. Yeah. President, please, yeah. we are waiting for you. He has to come. He has to come. Yeah. <laughs> In Sunday school, you don't like jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and especially, man, when you commit to the children, you must keep your promise. You must keep they your promise. They don't forget. Apana, apana, apana. So anyway, they call me Sunday. They call me Uncle Paul. Right. And... Um, yeah, and so eventually, later on, I, I, I was calling to the ordained ministry. I right. became Reverend Paul Mashira. Right. But uh, Reverend, 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 you know, <laughs> children will not be able to, they can't get that. Right. Uh, what, right. Re, Re, At it is too long for them. So just stick to Uncle Paul. That's the guy that so you know. So we work with Uncle Paul. So we work with Uncle Paul. Right. So, yeah, it's been a long journey. Yep. Uh, children ministry is an exciting ministry. Right. Some of the kids that I taught Sunday school yep. today have got children. Right. They have got children of their own. How does that make you feel? Right? Yeah, it's what, very. What guys you watched from when they were young? It's lovely. They are now parents. It's lovely. Exercising the same principles you taught them it's on their own children. In fact, yes. I once went to a church. Right. Um, Mavuno, the Mavuno on Mombasa Road. Right. And uh, three of the people teaching Sunday school at Mavuno. Right were actually my former Sunday school uh, students. Wow. And then they came and said, in fact, one guy said, eh, yeah. I teach Sunday school because of you. Wow. You really influenced me right. to teach Sunday school. Right. So when I go to heaven, Man, that must feel very good to when hear. I go to heaven, yes. the only bonga point yes. that I am sure of yes. is that there's a guy who is teaching Sunday school yeah. on account of Uncle Paul. Right. That one yes. would give me so much satisfaction. Oh. You have influenced him. So much, so much satisfaction. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And if I could influence many more people yep. to actually teach Sunday school, right. uh, I would do that. Right. Sunday school is a labor-intensive ministry. Right. Because unlike, unlike an adult church, mm. uh, where you get, in, especially for us in the Anglican church, right. Right. We, we basically know the script. Right. From the time we, we get into the church right. to the time we walk out, right. we know how it goes. Right. In fact, if you make a mistake, yep. we will point it out. Right. Yeah. Most likely even the congregation will know you've made a mistake. Aye. Yeah, we can even we, we can exchange notes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did he start by saying, the Lord be with you? Right. And then the response is, I'm and also, and also with you. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually have, yeah. Yep. And then at the end we say, go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. 
So it's a very well articulated, very well structured. Yep. Uh, but in Sunday school, right. anything can happen. I have them calling it Mutara Tara. Mutara Tara. Mutara Tara. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in Sunday school, yes. there is no Mutara Tara. Right. Anything can happen. Right. And more often than not, right. it does happen. Yeah. Yes. It's not a scripted one. It's not a scripted one. Right. So it's labor intensive. Right. There's lots of helping children right. even settle down, right. take them to the toilet, right. you know, do all things. Yep. So it's very draining, right. physically draining. Right. Uh, children also receive the gospel right. or the message right. with such a sincerity right. and there is such a joy. Right. Um, so it's also uh, largely a volunteer ministry. Mm. Uh, 90, actually 100% mm. of those who work in children ministry mm. usually do it as volunteers. Right. And so with that then has a lot of balancing. How do you keep them motivated? How do you keep them um, wanting to keep on coming? Mm in this high draining ministry, right. a highly draining ministry, right. and keep serving right. from January 1st of January mm. to the 31st of December. Mm. So it's an exciting ministry, yep. it's a very draining ministry, but it's a place to be. Yeah. This is my take. Yep. Let children hear about Jesus. Mm. Let them reject him right. on account of what they have had. Right. But let them not be born, right. grow into adulthood, right. and die without having had Jesus. Right. It, no, we, those of us who know Jesus, yep. it will be irresponsible of us to do that. Wow. So what keeps me going is yep. that there are children being born every day. And our best opportunity of getting everyone to know about Jesus mm. is when they are children. Wow. Wow. You know, Pastor, uh, do I call you Pastor, Pastor Paul? I call me Uncle Paul. Paul. Uncle, Uncle Paul. Paul. <laughs> yeah. See, two, two, two very important things you've said already. Number one, it is important that we are able to model that Jesus. Because then you said it is out of the abundance of that relationship. Yes. That then we are able to extend that love. Yes. Uh, to these children. Yes. And uh, yes. they have a right to know. To know. Jesus, you know, they say that uh, human rights are uh, children's rights. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Jesus is a human right. right. He's, he's a human a, right. He's a child right. Right. Every child needs to know Jesus. Right. Whether they reject him or not, that, that is choice. that. No, that's no, a choice. But yeah. they have first. They know, must they hear about, about Jesus. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How can you fail to know the truth? How can you fail to know life? And how can you fail to know the way? It is Jesus is a is a is a is a human right. For you, it is that basic. Yeah, it's that basic. No debate about No that. debate. Let's yeah. present him yep. yeah, and make sure that we are presenting him Correctly. in a just way. Right. Yeah. So that they don't reject Jesus. Because like, of how we present Because of how we present You remember Mahatma Gandhi? Yes. Mahatma Gandhi said, eh, yep. I love Jesus. Right. It is a Christian I have a problem with. Yeah. So here we are, yep. Sunday school teachers, right. parents, right. whoever you are, right. present Jesus. Right. Yeah. And, and I suspect even parents at home, because it must start at home. Kwanza hao sana. Yes. Sisi sana. Yes. Because it is me and you. Right. Yes. 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 We must present him correctly. We must present him correctly. You treat children badly, and then, you see, today they look, they look, they look kids. Yes. Yeah. But they will not always be kids. They will not always they will be kids. They will not always be kids. Yes. They will grow up. Let me tell you what happened. Right. One day there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a man who really embarrassed me when I was a child. Mm. Um, <laughs> my dad was going for some father studies. Mm. And uh, he had organized a, a tea party. Mm. And uh, as a child, I took one of the booklets that uh, we were using to invite people. Right. And um, so I approached this gentleman and I said, hey, um, I would want to invite you for my dad's tea party. Right. And I remember he was in his Mercedes Benz and uh, his children were at the back. Right. Children, some of whom I was in the same class in Sunday school. Right. And his wife was at the co-driver's seat. Mm. And, um, and he said, eh, uh, what? So, so I said, uh, hello. I knew him. So it's like I was approaching my uncle, mm. yeah, you know. Uncle, without confidence. Without confidence, Absolutely. yeah. So I was like, oh, hi, um, you know, dad is going for this, me, and I just want to invite you. And even before I said, he, before I finished, he said, what? Uh, so I panicked. And then he told me, yeah, uh, your father is still in school. Yeah? 
you, 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 you're coming to, I don't know what, so, no, he said, yeah, so your father is still in school, yeah, so you want me to educate your father? Oh, no, oh, no, uh, oh, no. I can't tell you what I felt, but even... I can, I can see it in your face even now. This is, this is a couple of years later. Is it couple? I was in class, I think class four or class oh, five. No. I was shocked. Crushed at the same time. Crushed. I almost imagined. I remember oh. then he drove off and I didn't know where to go. In fact, um, I was at Thika, that was at Thika Memorial. Right. So I ran behind the classes the, the Sunday school classrooms, and I cried, yeah? Oh, no. So, in uh, 2003, right. um, when I, was, I had bought my first car, right. <laughs> and um, I went and I uh, had gone to, I think, pay some insurance right. in town, CBD, right. and he happened, the same gentleman happened to be also going to the same insurance company. You could recognize him this many years after. My friend. Man, that was an encounter. Even huh? in heaven, I remember him. <laughs> I hope I, you forgive the guy. I forgive him, yeah, but I'll never forget. Right. But I remember the shock on his face. Do you know what he asked me? Mm -hmm. Is this your car? That was the first question he asked. He did not even, he did not even say hi. He asked me. He called me by, uh, by my middle name. Right. Karaoke. Is this your car? Is this your car? Right. And I said, yeah, it's my car. Yeah. But I can tell you, yeah. when I saw him, yeah. I remember that day, oh, no. standing outside the window of his Mercedes he Benz. He just came alive again. He just came alive again. So he, he talked badly. He, right. he dismissed me Completely. because I was the, I was, I was a kid. Because right. he wouldn't tell that to my dad or right. to an, to an adult. Yeah? Uh, but then, uh, yeah, you dismiss me because I'm a kid, but you have got no idea what it is that I'm going to be. Right. Well, I never amounted to become one of the great political guys that he may. But lives, one day, lives. he saw the same kid yep. that he had dismissed right. driving a car, right. uh, which would possibly never have imagined would have been possible. Be possible. So this is the thing, right. Uh, right. Dennis. Eh? Yep. Uh, we have... Children are treasures. Yep. How do you convince the world that this is where to be? Where? How do you convince the church? Yep. Could I tell you something? Tell me. Sometimes I think everybody else has discovered the value of children right. other than the church. How sad. I'm How telling sad. you, How sad. the businessman right. invests heavily in right. children. Right. Nairobi is the biggest capital city in Sub-Saharan Africa. Right. It has got a street that is dedicated to children's merchandise. Correct. Biashara. Biashara Street. Biashara Street. Look at even restaurants. They will make it baby friendly. And they know the rest even, of the family will come. Even the malls. Right. Any serious mall. Right. Has a place that targets children. Because they know right. you, you bring in children traffic. Right. You have the parents. Right. Look at the cartoon networks. Right. Big industry. It's a billion, multi-billion dollars. dollars. Right. Okay. Right. Targeting who? Children. children. Right. A function of family right. has the biggest part of their disposable income, the, the greatest percentage of their disposable income is dedicated towards children. Right. That is the school fees, right. their clothing, right. their their school trips, school trips, right. their welfare, their health. Absolutely. Most function of families also make it to church. Right. You go to most churches right. and you realize that the smallest most insignificant budget tends to go towards the children ministry. Oh, no. So it's seen as a nightmare. So you see, what is happening is, eh, yep. you have a child coming from a functional family mm. where most of the disposable income goes, they, to, them. goes to them. Right. And then they go to a church right. that dedicates the, the least. Oh, no. And that's why then when they grow up, they tend to walk away from church. Because mm. there's a disconnect. Right. You, you have a way of saying many things about this God, but you invest very little, if anything, in it. Children know what we value. Right. They know how much we pay school fees. Mm. They also know how much we invest in Sunday school. Mm. So if this Jesus is as important as you claim him to be, yes. why don't you dedicate the same amount of money to support Sunday school? And I'm, I must salute you because you've remained the voice. 
that gives us that constant reminder that we must invest in that generation on all fronts. It has to be. We must. Yep. Dennis, there is no other way. We, every time I speak to many of us, yep. we all are dedicated, at least by word of mouth, yep. we are all dedicated towards children ministry. Right. Pastors will say, this is the, this is the church of tomorrow. Right. We are very serious about children. Right. And I say, cut, cut the talk. Cut the talk. Show me your budget. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's start there. The figures don't lie. Yeah. 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 So you tell me, yep. the disposable amount that we get in this church yeah. is 10 million. Yep. Out of that 10 million, how much is going to the children? How much is going to children? Right. Yes. Yeah. And then now we can be able to then say, we can, we can be able to conclude yep. whether you think children are serious ministry right. or not. Right. Yes. It's placing your money where your mouth also is. Yes. And, 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 and uh, Uncle Paul, man, as we almost bring this to a close, you have a vision of reaching a billion children. Tell us about it. At the All Saints Cathedral, where I serve as a children's, as the acting children pastor, uh, we are putting up a huge infrastructure mm. called the Children and Teen Center. Mm. So the vision of the center is to help the church in Kenya the church in Africa mm. and the church in the world, mm. mainstream children ministry. Because right. what happens is, whenever you, when the, the, the church that you go to, mm. how your Sunday school is conducted, mm. when you go to visit your parents up country, mm. uh, your children going to Sunday school up country mm. will possibly find a totally different son. <laughs> In fact, this is the thing, eh? Mm. If you are to transfer your children from Nairobi yep. to Marsabit right. or from Nairobi to Homa Bay, right. they can go and join in any public school. Right. What will be different? Maybe the infrastructure. Right. But in terms of curriculum, it is the same curriculum. It is the same curriculum. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. So this is the desire. Right. Can we come up with a standardized curriculum right. so that children across this country, mm. across this, this, this continent, across this world, mm. can we have a way of ministering to children mm. in a more organized way? Right. So that even if I am an Anglican, right. and I was driving to church and my car broke down right. next to a Pepper church right. or a deliverance church, right. we can actually walk in yes. And my children can go and plug into that children ministry and there, are and they are comfortable. And okay. When they go up country, right. and they are spending the holidays with their parents, right. with my parents right. rather, right. then they can still go there and engage in my parents' church, right. and still not miss out on anything, Absolutely. by virtue of the fact that they are not coming to All Saints Cathedral. Right. Right. So the so dream... sort of standardize a bit of this thing. Yes, we may not be able to standardize in terms of, uh, in terms of everything, like in terms of... Uh, infrastructure right, and right, all that yeah because right. different congregations will be endowed differently correct but at least we can say yep. by the time a child who is a christian yep. or from a christian family yep. is getting to the age of 12 right. they know a b c d right they have been grounded up to a certain level because right now we have got children who know lots of songs Lots of things to do in church, right. but they can't tell you what they believe in. Right. Okay? Right. So that's the whole idea. Okay. So what will this center present? Yep. It will present an opportunity then for us to even generate content. Mm. Most of the animations that we watch in Kenya mm. are usually imported. Mm. But this country and this continent mm. has the capacity to generate its own animations. Absolutely. And that then is that is local. Is Contextualize. Relevant to our environment. Exactly. Correct. And then Correct. That, through that way, they will be able to minister the gospel wow. in a culturally relevant way. Wow. Yeah. The other thing is this, yeah? Yep. Sunday school teachers yep. are volunteers. Right. Usually, the announcement will go something like, if you are here and you love children, mm. let us meet behind the tent. Mm. Okay? Mm. So it's not an issue of who has been prepared for this ministry. Mm. There is no clergy who goes to preach without going to Bible school. Mm. Okay? Mm. So equally, mm. why don't we come up with an institution mm. that can be able to come up with a curriculum wow. to equip Sunday school 
teachers, teens workers, and we totally uh, we, 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 we equip them, maybe even certify them. Right. So that before a Sunday school person, before a volunteer mm. goes to goes to minister to children, mm. they have a certification right. that these that you are actually qualified mm. to be a children's minister mm. or a teens minister. And finally, can we come up with a platform that will be able to bring together people who are doing the same thing across the world? You know, one of the best places to do evangelism and discipleship of children is actually in primary schools and high schools. So why don't we get all those teachers who are in these institutions? Can we provide for them a platform where they can come together and network right. and ask themselves, how can I be an effective witness right. of the kingdom of God right. within the school setup, right. within the college setup, right. within the neighborhood setup right. where I live in. Right. So that's exactly it. So the vision of the Children and Teens Center right. is to reach out to a billion children. Right. How will this be done? Mm -hmm. by, creating, um, by, tr by creating avenues to train and equip Sunday school and teens workers mm -hmm. As they go out to do their thing after they have been equipped, mm. those children and teenagers they will be reaching out to mm. will form part and parcel of their billion children mm. by generating content, mm. content that can be shared on phone. Mm. As they watch those cartoons mm. that bring them to the message of Christ, mm. then they will be drawn and attracted to Jesus okay. Christ. So that's how we shall reach out to a billion children. Wow. Yes. Wow. Someone watching and asking, Two questions one when do you see this coming to start happening the the, the, the children and teen center and two if i wanted to be involved how can i be involved and thirdly if i wanted past, uh, uncle paul to just come help our, our church also to then begin to build this uh, conversation that, that mainstreams yes. the children yes what would the answers would you give these guys the children and teen center is pretty much the construction phase of it yes. is pretty much almost done right uh we hope to be uh, occupying maybe uh, mid this year, right. um, mid 2021. Uh, mid 2021. Okay. Of course, uh, the the software that will run the center right. will be will be reaching out to it will be reaching out to many people, right. so that uh, the formulation of that uh, software yes. is actually an ongoing process. Right. So and when will the first of our sons and daughters who would want to then make a contribution towards this? Exactly. They are developers. They can help you do this. Stuff. They can help us do that. Absolutely. So we will so be can rich. They write to you guys. They can say, write to this us. Is what I can and do? exactly. Absolutely. So do you anyone. Email address that they can write to. Oh yes. Yeah. Info yeah. at allsaintsnairobi. Right. Uh, dot org. Dot org. Okay. Dot org. But org. we'll type it down. Yeah. Yes, we'll type it down. Yeah. Okay. And so, therefore, we're inviting all these developers that know, especially the young people who you know you are part of software development and you know you can make a contribution towards this great vision. Just type and uh, let them know. Let uh, Uncle Paul and, and, and team know that you're willing to offer your services and let them get in touch with you. And who knows, man, your contribution would go a long way in making this dream yes. a real reality. Man. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of uh, then, uh, they can also give financially. Right. Reaching out to a billion children right. is an expensive venture. Absolutely. So, uh, All Saints Cathedral does not have all the resources it requires right. to do this initiative. Absolutely. If this is going to be done, yep. then we will need all the churches in Kenya, all the say. churches in Africa, yep. all of us coming together yep. and say, let's be part and parcel of right. this initiative. Right. Uh, I don't know what was the third question that you asked. The third question was, uh, if, if I'm a church and I want Uncle Paul to just come in and help oh, us yeah, mainstream yeah. this agenda. I would love to do that. Right. You know, um, why I'm wearing this overall today R right. is because when, when, um, when COVID checked in yep. and we could not, and churches were closed, yep. the Lord put it in our heart to actually go out to the streets and do street evangelism. Right. And uh, this is the desire. Right that every church, wherever there are children, right. would actually be equipped to be able to do ministry to children within the setup. Absolutely. And so this is the desire then. Right. If Uncle Paul or any of my colleagues at the All Saints Cathedral right. can be of help to you, right. we would be more than willing to come, with, to come and be where you are. Right. But even better still, help us uh, complete with the Children and Teen Center, right. then this can become a national center right. where churches are congregating right. towards equipping them for ministry towards children. And they can reach to you the same email address. They can reach to same me or uh, to us through the same email address. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let me say the last thing. Eh? Right. You know, there is this beautiful book yep. 
when we went out to do ministry to the in the streets, eh? right. uh, the United Bible Society yep. uh, reached out to us and said, we have got some beautiful devotional material. Right. If children are going to know God, right. they need to spend time with Him. Right. How you will know me better yep. is by spending time, time. with me. Right. This book has been designed to actually capture children having moments or create moments that children can have with the Lord. It, has, it is called 365 Mini Moments with God. Right. And this particular book enables children to interrogate or provokes a thought in the life of a child yep. for them to be able to ask, what is the Lord asking me to do now? Yep. How, how do I respond to it? This is a beautiful book that I desire would be placed in the hand of every child. Mm. This other book here is called The Values and Habits. Right. This is a beautiful book. It's a story encyclopedia. Right. It's got very many stories in here, right. actually 42 of them. Right. And every story uh, espouses a certain value or a certain habit that a child should have in their lives. Right. I would want to encourage any person, go to the nearest bookshop around you, right. get hold of these books, right. buy many yep. for, for distribution. Them out. Right. That's how we are going to get the Abelian children. Wow. The Abelian children is not a preserve of the Austin's Cathedral. Right. It's not a preserve of Uncle Paul. Right. It is a movement and we are asking every all believer, us. all of us, Join on board. to come on board wow. and make sure that in our generation, a billion children will have had Jesus right. and decided to follow him. Wow. No better way to end the show. <laughs> and, and for the record, I want to confirm, we have this in our home. All right. And we are enjoying reading this. Because And I want to recommend it to everyone out there. Folks, this is good stuff, man. And I want to just recommend it. Pastor Paul, I mean, Uncle Paul, your, your passion for children is just contagious. Thank you. It is just something else, man. And, and, and I really want to congratulate you, even on the vision of a billion children, and on the vision of just putting up the children and the teen center. I mean, sometimes we complain about what we can do something about. Yeah. And I think it is true leadership when you say, let's cut the talk, man. Yeah. Let's put our money where yeah, our mouth, mouth is. Yeah. Let's place the infrastructure that begins to make the next 10 years yes. different from the last 10 years. Yes. And I want to salute you, sir. Just Thank for you. going all the way and just getting this in motion. Dennis, I never 20, know. Yes. 2063. Right. Let's pray to the Lord right. that me and you will be alive. Yes. That is when Kenya will be turning 100, 100 years. years. We want this country to have godly values and habits. Everywhere. These corruption manenos we'll be talking about in the past. It will be in the history books. Let the children, a child being born today, in the year 2063, right. will be 42 years of age. Right. That child, let them get to spend, children being born today, let them spend moments with God. Right. Let their values and habits be changed and formed. Right. Then in the year 2063, as we celebrate 100 years right. of this country's existence, right. we shall be talking about a godly nation. There you heard it, man. The foundations of a godly nation in a hundred years of this country's independence are anchored on the things we do today. We might as well start investing today so that we don't need to complain tomorrow. If we are not doing it today, then we know what tomorrow is going to look like. That's and the true. only way to shape the outcomes of what it shall be tomorrow is to make the investment that we must make today and in our children and in this young generation. What a show, what a conversation. Only Uncle Paul places it the way that he places it. And I want to invite you men to support that vision, be a part of it in your home and also in the avenues that he has given to us. And let's not wait, man. Let's take control of the destiny that we all want to see, man. It's been such a joy, Uncle Paul, just to have hosted you and just to listen to you ooze this vision and the passion for our children. God bless you, sir. Bless you too, God brother. God bless you, sir. Amen. God bless you, sir. Man. Unfortunately, we just have to bring this to an end. It's been an amazing conversation. Man, share it with other, other people, man. Let them know that we've got something that we can do about our children to fortify their lives and to fortify our nation. Because in children's hearing the gospel, 
as we had. It is a ride, man. It is a ride. It's all been, we've been able to make time for today on the Goldman Show. Inviting you to follow us on the Goldman Show on Facebook, on YouTube, as well as on Instagram. And let's together build a kind of community Uncle Paul just reminded us about, man. Until next time, God bless you. Keep working on you, children. Keep building the next generation. Keep becoming the example that they truly build a kind of community Uncle Paul See you just reminded us about. Bad man. Until keep becoming the example and let's together that they truly build a kind of